Today we continue our 12-part series, Reclaim Your Life. Overcoming addiction is a tough journey, and many may not have the time to enter a full inpatient program, but intensive outpatient services can help those seeking a foundation for recovery, as I found out when I visited Transformations Drug and Alcohol Treatment Center in Delray Beach, Florida, and met the people behind their IOP program. Individuals who benefit from this program come from all walks of life. Um, basically, they're individuals who have hit rock bottom, they're looking for help, um, they want structure, accountability, and support. What makes our intensive outpatient program so unique is the holistic approach that we take. Um, it's mind, body, and spirit. We have different kinds of groups. We have gender-specific groups, we have small groups, we have larger groups, we have a Christian-based group. We also offer psychiatric services, we offer chiropractic services, we offer the serenity bed, we offer alumni, family day, all of which help to provide a healthy foundation for the client's recovery. As an intensive outpatient therapist and registered medical health counselor, Elizabeth Dupre heads the IOP program at Transformation Drug and Alcohol Treatment Center in Delray Beach, Florida. It's not only a place where lives are transformed, but also where a foundation is created for living a healthy, sober lifestyle. Elizabeth, how do you go about creating a foundation for sobriety, especially for someone who has already gone through treatment and obviously doesn't want to go back to a life of addiction? What we try to do or what we strive to do is to teach them healthy coping skills. Um, a lot of the clients come in and they have little to no coping skills or the way they cope is very unhealthy. So what we strive to do is we strive to find out how they cope, um, if it's healthy, if it's not healthy, uh, what we'll do is we will um, engage the client, make sure that they're aware and try to change that, offer them alternatives, things that they can practice, um, things that will provide that healthy foundation for recovery. I was homeless. I've been to jail 12 times. I've been to multiple rehabs, multiple detoxes, and um, none of them are really a sufficient bottom for me. I had detoxed myself off heroin, meth, crack and Xanax um, by myself. And I came down here and I called Transformations and they set me up in one of their halfway houses and they let me come in and I started IOP and I fell in love with it. And I put my heart and soul into their program. Elizabeth, what's the difference between the outpatient program and the inpatient program offered at Transformations? So the inpatient program offers a higher level of care. Those individuals need more stabilization. They probably need to be um, in treatment uh, for about approximately 30 days or more depending on the client. Whereas an outpatient, uh, basically we have individuals who need to continue working. They have jobs, uh, where you know, doctors, lawyers, uh, a home, teachers, a, a home, a family. And so what we offer them is a similar level of care where they could come and they have support, uh, they have feedback. And so hopefully they could continue to progress um, in their recovery, but still be able to live kind of like their daily lives. The IOP program is designed to create a non-judgmental environment that allows each client to work through the issues that may be keeping them from a sober lifestyle. This involves three different phases of stepping down to sobriety. So at Transformations, we offer three phases of care. We offer the intensive outpatient level of care, we offer outpatient phase two, and then we offer outpatient phase three. In the intensive level of care, uh, what we offer is group therapy three times a week. We also do individual check-ins with the client. At phase two, what we offer are group therapy sessions uh, twice a week and an option of doing an individual therapy session or a specialty group. In phase three, uh, we offer the client um, either individual therapy sessions or that specialty group session. Normally what happens in phase three is we start tapering the client off of therapy so they're able to use those coping skills which they've learned throughout the whole process. Our objective is to get them to, to step down those levels of care so anytime they step down a level of care we're basically um, seeing someone progress in their recovery and that's great because that means that um, more than likely they, they will be able to use those coping skills skills and not relapse, which is our main objective, right? Elizabeth, how do you know that your IOP program has made a difference? 
you'll start to see a more stable, happy, adaptable person, someone who's able to problem solve on their own, someone who's able to cope with um, life's daily problems. That's when you start to notice that you are making a difference in someone's life. I have a full-time job. I work 37 and a half hours a week. I got a promotion, um, like blessings upon blessings upon blessings have come. I went home for Christmas and I didn't relapse and it was awesome. This was the perfect place for me to be. It's like, it's part of my journey. This was the best vessel for me to like reach like where I am now. It's part of the life journey that everyone shares at Transformations, where healing begins and a foundation of sobriety is found. We hope you'll join us again in our Reclaim Your Life series as we show you how Transformations Drug and Alcohol Treatment Center has changed so many lives on their road to recovery. Now, next time, we're gonna take a look back at our series and look ahead to what it truly means to build a foundation for living a healthy, sober lifestyle. Remember, for more information, you can go to transformationstreatment.center or go to our website, thebalancingact.com.